Okay, here are some of the uh, algebraic properties of vectors. Um, I encourage you to try and prove all of these. We just proved uh, that vector addition is commutative, so that's number one here. We just proved that in the last video. Um, very similarly to the way we proved that, you could prove all of these if you know properties of, of real numbers. Like, you know addition for real numbers is associative, and that's what we have here in step number two, so you probably can prove that pretty easily. You know when you add a real number to zero, you uh, you get that real number back. So, so like, you can go through all of these pretty easily. Uh, and like I said, um, just use them proving, uh, use the properties of real numbers that you know. One interesting thing here is we have this thing called the zero vector. Um, and the zero vector is a little bit different than zero. It's a vector whose components are all zero. Um, and that distinction is somewhat important because we can't add just a regular number, zero, to a vector. We have to add a, a vector to a vector. So when we do this addition, we need this to be a zero vector so we can add each of the components um, together. But okay, so this is just for reference. Uh, you can view it at any time. I'll hopefully I'll have a reference sheet on the website um, that you can look at and print off. So um, we can we can use these from now on with vectors. See you in the next video.